Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. The University of the Western Cape Science Learning Center for Africa has launched its Coding and Robotics Club. The launch takes place during National Science Week. The club aims to expose school learners to the technology and to popularize science among young people. Coding is the process of how humans communicate with computers, turning instructions and ideas into a language that computers understand. UWC says the club will help popularize STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and mathematics, and prepare learners for future careers by exposing them to the four C's of coding. What the code, Coding and Robotics Club wants to do is to whet students' um, appetite for careers in ICTs, coding and robotics, and develop 21st century skills. Um, you know, the research has shown that coding and robotics hold affordances to develop creativity in learners, innovative thinking, problem-solving skills. But if you look here, also cooperative learning, you know, they develop soft skills because it's team efforts. De Beer says learners must be equipped with the skills needed in order to take charge of their own learning. There's no economic status attached to it. It's applied to everyone all across the board. But what we're trying to do now is at least give that platform to the previously disadvantaged communities so they can be exposed to this whole new world that they're going to be living in about robotics and the automated um, 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 world we're living in. Coding and robotics is being integrated into the school curriculum. The club will offer short learning programs and workshops for teachers to build capacity and for reskilling. The teachers, they need to be part of the game as well and make sure that they provide these children who are coming from underprivileged backgrounds because they don't have access at home. So this is such an opportunity uh, for this launch to be done here at UWC because uh, even if research can address such things, but if it's not done practically by the teachers, then it's a waste of time. The university says it's currently working with eight schools in this pilot phase from areas including Balar, Kailicha and Mitchell's Plain. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.